All right, so here we go. So we got a great workout plan today. It's going to be approximately about 30 minutes. We got 12 different exercises broken up into four different parts. So we're going to do three exercises in little circuit hit format here. We're going to sweat can approximately think about about 30 minutes or so. Uh, if you're not warmed up right now, make sure you go do a warm up. So pause this video and then come back and then you're going to, you'll be ready for the video. So just on a five minute walk, do five, 10 minute walk and then come back and you'll, you'll be ready. Okay. All right. So here we go. So the first exercise is going to be reverse lunges. We've got reverse lunges, push ups, and bicycle crunches. So I'm going to go ahead and set the timer. 10 seconds. We're off. So reverse lunges, making sure you're stepping back. Good posture, good form. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. We're doing 30 second rounds today. So 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Like it's gonna be going, we're gonna be moving, we're gonna keep going the whole time. You're gonna be sweating. Pace yourself, go at your own pace. So the key is to stay healthy here, stay strong, and just move nice and smooth. We got 13 seconds, reverse lunges, just alternating back and forth. Uh, if you got a dumbbell around that's handy too, we will be doing some bicep curls this first round. We don't need any dumbbells. All right, good. Next one is going to be push-ups. So inhaling down, exhaling up, or you can do them from your knees, either or. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Good, good, good. Sometimes I do these workouts right now, I'm in triathlon training, so my training is very specific to the work I'm doing, and I'm not gonna do these type of workouts to throw off my training, because it's just very, I'm a, I'm a PR this year, so um, I'm, I'm gonna fight against my younger self, trying to beat my younger self, which I'm going to. <laughs> All right, five seconds. We got bicycle crunches next. Three, two, one, good, go ahead and relax, so you can go over to your back. Bicycles, you're just twisting across the torso, Back and forth here. Okay, ready and go. Let's get it going, let's get it going. Twisting side to side. Smiling as you're doing it. I know this is hard. I'm gonna throw some little twists and turns in this little workout here, so just to kind of keep you on, keep, make sure you're paying attention. So I'm gonna make sure you're paying attention today, so. All right, eight seconds here. Three, two, one, good, relax. All right, we got reverse lunges again. If you're feeling good, your body's loosened up, we're gonna pick it up a little bit speed on these reverse lunges. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. You don't have to go all the way to the floor if, if you can't, so just take little shorter ones. If you want weights, it's okay. I got one of my live participants is overachiever she is, has got her weight holding out in front of her, you can do that. You can grab heavier weights if you want. You can grab lighter or you can do just body weight. The key is here, we're just getting the blood pumping. These are feel good workouts. Might not feel that way while we're in it, but it's gonna be workouts that we progress. All right, we're back to the push-ups again. Back to push-ups, second round of push-ups here. Okay, here we go. And go. I'll do the push-ups with you guys on this round here. Get a little sweat going for myself. Inhaling down, exhaling up. So inhale down, exhale up. Good form, good posture as you're holding here. We got 10 more seconds. Woo, get that sweat going. Good. And you can just roll back over to your back and the bicycles. You got a little rest here. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Bicycle crunches. Rest, I'm giving, this is what I consider rest. Don't rest right there, so don't rest. I mean, this is what I consider rest even though you're still moving. You get to lay down on your back. I mean, what, what's better than that when you're exercising? Yeah, the stomach might burn a little bit, but yeah, it's okay. You got 10 seconds. I know everybody's enjoying this, relaxing on the back. So we're gonna skip the rest, keep going, keep going. It's a love-hate relationship right now. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna do two rounds of this. So I told you I was gonna say some twists and turns in here. This is one of them. Keep going. Bicycle crunches. Oh, I know it's burning now. I know you probably got some choice words for me as we're going. Woo. 
You've only got 15 seconds left. I know this 15 seconds is going to be an eternity, but you'll get there. We always do. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. And relax. Whew, done. Back to reverse lunges. We've got to go through one more of each of those. Reverse lunges again. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. We're getting our fitness on. This is how you build fitness. So whenever you hear people or anybody talking like, I want to get fit, this is what fitness is. Like you build your fitness. You can build your fitness in whatever realm. Like I do build my fitness in my triathlons. I build my fitness in cycling. But this really develops your cardiovascular system. You build strength. You build the function of like functionality of your body to be able to function through this movement. It's good. Push-ups. How are we feeling out there in our lives? Good. Three. She's focused. That's what I like. All right. Let's go. Push-ups. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. I feel like I got a little pump there in my push-up on the last one. So inhaling down. Exhaling up. I actually ran this morning. So I double up on some days. Today's I've got to try to figure out a time to swim. Probably not going to be able to happen. Three kids and... I generally get take the responsibility after the week for, for the kids. We gotta give the wife a break. Three, two, one, bicycle. One more set of bicycles here. How are we feeling out there? <laughs> Thumbs up, that's what I like to see. Here we go, bicycle crunches. Three, two, one. I got fantastic news too. So as you're doing your bicycles, don't stop, keep moving. This is the last round of these three exercises, so we don't have to come back to these today. We might try to throw some in another day, but unless I throw one of my little twists in where we just decide, hey, let's do another round, but I don't have that plan, but you never know. All right, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. If you got some dumbbells handy, go ahead and grab those dumbbells. We're going to do a squat with overhead press. You can, if you don't have dumbbells or anything handy, just do it and pretend like you got dumbbells. So inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. It's a good compound movement here. You get some legs, you get some core, you get some shoulders. A lot of things going on, good form. Make sure you're reaching the hips back. So make sure you're reaching the hips back. Just pressing up nice and smooth. Keep your core tight and smile. This is always fun. Three, two, one, and then bicep curls. And let's just skip the rest on this. Let's just go straight into bicep curls. Rest is overrated, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Now we're officially going if you end up taking your break here. So inhaling down, exhaling up. Let's get some speed on these today too. It's a hit workout. All right, now slow it down. My little twist and turn, you never know what's gonna happen. I won't let people ever figure me out. All right, now fast again. Now fast. I got one of my participants yawning, so hmm. <laughs> Do I take that as my workouts easy? Do I need to pick it up? Some people just yawn during workouts, it's okay. All right, we got scissors on the ground. So you can set those weights to the side. We got scissors, just scissoring the legs here. Yep, working that belly. If you have to sit on your hands for support your back, go ahead and do that. If you don't feel on your back, don't do that because it makes your abs work more when you don't. But some people need it. You don't want to hurt your back. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Back to squat, overhead press. Great job, by the way. Keep up the good work. Here we go. Inhaling down. Exhaling up, inhaling down, exhale up. You go at your own pace. If you're feeling really good and strong today, you can push it. Like, let's go, bang, bang, bang. If you're, if you're watching like an injury, like a knee, you gotta be careful. Just, just move nice and gingerly. You don't have to go crazy fast all the time. Take care of your body. This is to create energy. You overdo it, you might take away that, about that, that gift you get when you do things right. Good, and relax. 
back to bicep curls. And that's what it is, like exercise is a gift. It gives energy when you do things right. Three, two, one, bicep curls. Just go whatever you want. If you feel good, let's pump it out. Got heavier weights, like really get that contraction. Squeeze those biceps as you're coming up. And the intensity is something important to pay attention because you don't want intensity, intensity, intensity all the time. Some workouts you gotta go a little easier so you can get more energy. Because if you're already tired, physically tired because you've been working out hard, you gotta take an edge off because sometimes you overtrain and then you start getting real tired and you're tired all the time. We don't want that. We want you to have energy and feel good. Good, and relax. All right, we got back, what was the scissors? On the back again. Scissoring the legs here. Twist and turn coming up. As soon as, the, as soon as it beeps, as quickly as you can, roll over into lower plank on your elbows. So we got 10 more seconds and you're gonna go as fast as you can because we wanna get a long time in plank. A little twist and turn here again. Three, two, one. Quickly in the lower plank right now. No rest here. Straight into it on your elbows. You can do these from your knees if you feel them in your back. But try to work. Shoulders down, good, good form. Keep that core nice and tight. Great work, keep it up. You're doing fantastic. 10 more seconds. Well, almost 10 seconds. 10 seconds now. Squeeze the core really tight. Good posture, get really strong in your whole body. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Shoulders down, press your heels. Reach to the crown of the head. Good, and rest. Go back to your back in the crunches now, no rest. Rest is overrated, I'm telling you. You can rest the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, back to crunches. Just on your back. Let's do feet up in the air, crunching up. So inhaling here, exhale out. Try to bring your feet straight up in the air. Got 18 seconds here. Giving you a break from all the other work. But we're going back. We got squat overhead presses, bicep curls, and scissors again after this. Got my sweat going. Hot out here in Texas. Good, and relax. Squat with overhead press. So weights at the shoulders, pressing up and over. So inhaling down, exhaling up. All right. Got that lovely beat going. I'm gonna take a swig of water here. If you gotta take a swig of water in between these, that's okay. Keep the body hydrated. Got 10 more seconds here, a little less. All right, since we got those weights, let's go straight into bicep curls. We'll rest later today. I know you're like, geez, come on, let me rest. But I got you. After we finish this workout, you got the rest of the day. And you're gonna have all this energy, you're probably not even gonna wanna rest, so sorry. I don't know that you're even going to want to. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. All right, let's get it going a little bit faster here. Last 15, last half of this. The good news is you don't have to come back to bicep curls again, unless I do two rounds of them right now. Not today. We're going to go on to the next. Good, and relax. we got scissors on the ground again. I've got more good news. i got double good news this time. Ready and go, scissors, scissoring those legs. The good news is, is we finished the first set round set of exercises. The good news is after this one, we finished the second set of exercises. And then even better news is we're halfway done with the workout. And even better news than that, we still got halfway to go. So that's great news. So we got all, ki all kinds of great positive things coming at you today. Five seconds, three, Two, one, good, and relax. All right, the next one is if you got weights, you can keep them on your hips. This one is an easier one, so this one will give you rest. You got bridges here, just laying on your back, lift your butt up, try to squeeze your butt as you're coming up, so inhaling down, exhaling up. These are great for the lower back. Inhale here, exhale up. 
Make sure you're pressing into the ball of your feet, keeping your feet even. Make sure they're not rolling out as you're coming up or rolling in. Try to keep your knees even. Squeeze your butt as you're coming up. Three, two, one. Good and relax. All right, we got shuffles here. So you're just gonna come up. You can just do fire feet if you don't have the room, but we're just gonna shuffle back and forth. You got more room here, you can do more room, but just shuffling back and forth here. A little bit of cardio, we gotta keep that heart rate going, especially after I just gave you that easy little bridge, because those are, those are not that hard of an exercise, but they're, they're necessary. They're really good for your lower back and your butt and your glutes. They're a great way to build the glutes. If you can get some weight on your hips and lift your butt in the air there and really squeeze, like you can really build. But we got a good one for you next one. So, all right, go ahead and relax. We got spider plank. So, hands under the shoulders here, and you try to bring your knee out to your elbow here. You can do these from the knees, like if you're not there yet, too. Just try, and you might not get the knee to the elbow, just work in that direction. Eventually, you get the range of motion but you want to get those obliques up here. So you're, you want to get that knee up high. So make sure the knee's getting up and you're pulling forward right in here so you can get into those obliques. And these ones are, these ones are tough. Spider planks are hard. Good. And rest. Back to bridges again. So we got bridges. I'm sweating up a storm in here today. There's that first easy one. Three, two, one and go. Inhaling down, exhaling as you're coming up. I've been hitting the core hard lately with all my clients, so I'm getting feedback like they've been sore, which is kind of mix it up as we go. Strong core is important. Good, and relax. All right, back to shuffles again. Or, or, did we just do bridges? Yeah, we just did shuffles, yeah, yeah. So bridges, or not bridges, sorry, I can't talk. Shuffles, or you, if you don't have the room and you're in a tight space, just do fire feet up and down. If you wanna throw a squat jump in there, jump up, because that can help you get the heart rate up. If you want, it's up to you, that's optional. I do give some choices in my trainings. Come on, now let's pick it up a little faster. Toe beeps, come on. Three, two, one, spider planks. Let's go straight down. We don't need to rest. Straight down into spider planks again. Straight down into it, getting it going. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good, and relax. All right, one more round of these. We're getting done, we're more than halfway done with this workout. We got the uh, bridges again, so laying on your back, just lifting your hips up into the air. This time, try to pull your toes up in the air, press from the heels. You'll get more glutes, so if you really wanna isolate the glutes here, Keep the toes up in the air so your toes are flexed up. Toes in the air. The only thing touching the ground is the heels. And lift up. Inhaling down. Squeeze your butt as you come up. So inhaling down. Exhaling up. We got shuffles next. Good. And relax. Shuffles or fire feet. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, how are we feeling out there in the live world, the ones who are doing this workout live? Focused. I didn't even get a thumbs up. Must not be, must not be a good workout today. <laughs> All right, now let's push. Let's push the last 15 seconds. Come on, work. Each five seconds we go faster. Ready and go, even faster. Push it, push it, push it. You gotta dig deep on this last five. Should be the hardest. Ready and go. Last five seconds. Go. Push, 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 push,
Good, and back to spider planks. While the heart rate's up, this one's gonna be a good one. Whew. Cardiovascular fitness is on. Strength, core. All right, we got spider planks again. We are almost there. So we've got spider planks. And then the good news is, again, we're done with three of these rounds. So we got one more round of exercises. We've got, this one, the next one's not that complicated. Okay, and relax. All right, we've got high knees, kickbacks, and boat twists. So just either walking high knees, running high knees, and go. So start with high knees, kickbacks, Show you those as you're doing the high knees. Kickbacks will be just kicking back like this to get the triceps here. And then the last one is boat twist, so you can keep those weights and do a twist from side to side here. All right, let's pick it up a little bit. Last five seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Good work, and we got kickbacks. So just grab the, and if you don't have dumbbells, just pretend and squeeze the tricep as you're coming back. Keep that back completely straight. Stick your butt out. Back is straight, neck is long. Really work those triceps. Got 15 more seconds here. Five, four, three, great job, two, one, relax. All right, then we got boat twists. So depending on how heavy, but you sit down and you can, you can do feet up in the air. Go side to side. This one is a great exercise unless you've had a tailbone injury like I've had. So that one's not one that I do. There's a way I can position myself, but I gotta actually get some padding just because if I get that muscle irritated, it's not fun. And this is where you gotta honor your body. So I actually choose not to, I still do them because it's a, it's a great exercise for hitting your transverse, getting your obliques a little bit. Um, but I have to just get the right position because I don't want it to affect that muscle at all. And you gotta do that with your body. Good, all right, we got two, three more, two more rounds here. Maybe three. Um, all right, we got high knees again. How are we feeling out there? <laughs> Yeah, she gave me thumbs up. She's like, uh-oh, I don't give them thumbs up this time. There's going to be more work coming. But there's always a mental aspect of it, and I always try to push that mental part to strengthen your mental ability to handle stress, life, work, physical part you're doing during the exercise. Five seconds here. We got kickbacks again after this. Good, and again, looking from the backside, kickbacks here, from the front side here, side of you here, and go. I want to add more on, but we don't really have time because I said 30 minutes. But I will add a little twist in just because I don't want you all to get bored out there. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Good and relax. We got the boat twist again. So sitting down side to side. Ready and go. Let's go, let's go. I got a little bonus for, for y'all. I'm not even Southern, and I, I shouldn't be using the word y'all because I'm not Southern. Southern from the Midwest, we didn't use y'all, but I like the word y'all. Come on, get it twisting side to side. Get into those obliques. Sitting up tall, you get the transverse. You got the front part of the abs, which is your rectus. That, that's the part where the six pack is. And then we got this obliques out here in the side underneath all that. We got the transverse. Good, and relax. All right, here we go. Here's our twist. We still gotta do one of each. Five seconds, we got high knees. High knees first. And three, two, one, and go. And look at that. The timer mysteriously went from 
30 seconds to 50 seconds. So I'm hooking you guys up. I'm giving you guys 50 second rounds. I expect thank yous and the messages and I, I'm working hard here. See, I'm sweating too. I'm not supposed to be sweating. My goal is to get you to sweat. All right, now we got 30 seconds. Now, now that was bonus time's over. Now we'll get to the real work. All right, now I want you to push it fast, fast, fast for five seconds, fast, fast. Now slow it down, slow it down. We're gonna do another one here again, ready? And fast, 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 push it, push it, push it. Come on, go, 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 go. And keep pushing, keep pushing, even faster, even faster. Why, why should we slow down now when we're working this hard? <laughs> All right, kickbacks. Bending over here. We're almost done, two more exercises and we're out of here. We'll do a quick little stretch too, just to wind you guys down. Now, 45 seconds left here. So one of the things like as you do like a hit workout, because a lot of times these workouts just come to an end, you do a quick stretch, you haven't really cooled down. So going out and doing a walk or doing some light cardio and then some light stretching even after that, let your body wind down because that'll give you more energy and make you even feel better. 25 seconds. Whoo! Can only imagine how good you guys are gonna feel today. Five, four, three, two, one, good, and, and boat twist. So we got the boat twist side to side. Okay, ready, and go. And again, like you always gotta make sure you honor your body. Like, you, you have to know your body. Like me just showing you guys how to do that boat twist, I, I kinda hit that muscle I was telling you about. And it, it might hurt for a day or two now. I'm gonna to try to stretch it out after I finish this video. But it's like, you gotta be careful with those type of things. And I'm usually really good. I was actually trying to stay away from it. But sometimes it just happens, but you need to honor your body. So in the case of, like in my case, I would not do boat twists today if it's hurting. Like you can always use an alternate. Like even if you just stand up and go side to side, you can kind of get a similar movement. You just gotta really squeeze the core and use that weight as you're going side to side. Boat twist is a great exercise. Russian twist, whatever you want to call it. Five, four, three, two, one, good. And we are done with this workout. Let's go ahead. We're going to come up and I'm just going to wind you down a little bit here. Just as a little bonus here. All right, so I'm going to have you come up and just kind of walk in place here. And we're going to focus on breathing. So the breathing, like your, your heart rate might be up and... I want you to control it. Smooth inhales in, smooth exhales out to control and bring down the heart rate. I'm a competitive cyclist, uh, I do triathlons. Like you can control your heart rate and bring it down by learning how to breathe properly. So just walk in in place. Pause at the top, hold your breath for just a second. Just slowly release, be in control of it. Like you can, you can control the heart rate, you can control the stress, you can keep yourself calm. A lot of the stress, anxiety, things that we feel when we're exercising. It, it can be controlled through the breathing. Same thing in life, like, I mean, they teach a lot of breathing things like to deal with anxiety and stress. Let this kind of teach you. Inhale in, and then exhale out. Again, inhale in. Smoothly exhale out, nice and smooth. Ah, just let the stress, everything release. Then you can start liking me again. <laughs> Give one more time. Inhale in. Exhale out. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, just find a place on the wall. Let's stretch out a quad here. Now keep that breathing going. Smooth inhales in, smooth exhales out. out those quads. I did some interval runs this morning, so these feel really good right now. And then stretching out the other side, switch sides now.
Good, and relax. All right, gonna walk the feet out wide here. So hands on the hips, you're gonna lift your chest. You're gonna lead with your chest. So as you're doing this, you're keeping your back straight. Bring your hands down your legs here and just stop. Like, this is about where I'm at. I can't even come to the floor today. Somebody's not been stretching this week because usually I come down lower than this, but body's tight. I've done a lot of work, lots of running, biking, swimming this week. Try to sink a little bit deeper now. Now, at first I couldn't get there, now I am. Try to keep your back straight. Uh, squeeze your legs back, so flex your quads. Lift your hips up into the air. Good, then hands on your knees and kind of roll out of it as you come back up. All right, let's get the hip flexors now. So good hip flexor step, stretch up. Keep your hips square, standing up nice and tall. Bring, if your right leg's back, bring your right hip forward. If your left leg's back, left back bring your left hip forward. Get that hip flexor there. I've met very few people who don't have tight hip flexors. Maybe some, some yogis, some yoga. Yoga instructors, no, I mean, they're pretty, pretty flexible. Good, switch other side. Whatever legs back, bring that hip forward. And we're tight because we're sitting all the time. We're driving, we're just always in that position. Or we're running and biking, in my case, like my, my hip flexors are tight. They can definitely cause back problems. All right, that is all we got. Fantastic work here. I recommend going out, going for like a 15, 30 minute walk, 60 minute walk, depending on your fitness level. I'm gonna stop this, but great job.